So maybe you can just kick off with a brief introduction to your film and tell us what audiences can expect. I'm going to let you take this one. Oh, um, <laughs> Ha is a coming of age story about a young woman in her 30s who has dedicated her life to the film industry and we follow it over 24 hours and we see her life essentially fall apart. And can you tell us a bit about the backstory? What was the inspiration behind it and, and why did you want to make the film? Um, so, uh, so Kate and I have known each other, by the time I wrote the script, I actually wrote the script for, for Kate. Um, and uh, we'd known each other for like two years at that point, and uh, we'd done a short film together. It was just, we were just coming out of the pandemic, and um, I just really wanted to make a film. And we got chatting, and we started throwing some ideas around about um, where we both were in our lives, and uh, what was kind of going on in her life. And, she was making a show in Budapest and um, she was like, oh, you should come to Budapest because it's really beautiful and you'd love Budapest. It's an amazing the city. Light. The light is incredible. <laughs> and so from those sorts of conversations, that's kind of how, how the story came out, really. Um, and uh, that was like December 2020. Yeah. And we shot it last January. Um, so, and, and have spent 18 months in post-production. So... Uh, and, and tell us what the appeal was for you and, and, and how did you see this character and how did you have to play her? I had known Ben for a couple of years before and we worked on a short film together and uh, once he'd written the script and sent it to me I was flying back from Budapest to London for Christmas and uh, it was an immediate like heart in mouth. It was such a beautiful, he writes so beautifully and having seen his stuff visually before his other films, it was just a no-brainer. No and um, we developed the character over the next year um, through workshops and um, to camera tests and stuff like that. And it was just such a special experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, we actually made, the, we shot the film on Super 8, which um, is never was never really designed to be a professional format, um, you know, sort of associated with home movies. It gets used a lot in sort of like flashback sequences in, in, in films um, or for music videos and fashion films and stuff like that, but it has a sort of particular style. And I, I mean, I love film. I, I trained as a cinematographer. I love shooting on film. And um, I, I, don't, I can't even remember whether it was you or me or I don't know. I, I don't know what it was, but at some point I said, why don't we make it on Super 8? And um, the journey of then trying to understand what that is and the problems that, that uh, you have to try and overcome in order to make this totally non-professional format like <laughs> deliver the results because we shot sync sound as well. Um, so it's been a real like roller coaster, a, a very slow moving roller coaster, like the worst roller coaster like in in the world. Like it's not been fast. It's no, been, and quite loud. Yeah, quite <laughs> a loud. One. Um, yeah. Very noisy cameras. Very noisy cameras. Um, and. But, but the, the end results are, are stunning, and, and we really hope that you know because we we, we treated it really seriously. We treated it like a, like you would if you were shooting on 16 mil or 35 or digital. We just kind of went, well, why not? Why why can't we do that? And um, and so it's just got a really beautiful, unique kind of quality to it, I think. Um, and I was very inspired by sort of European films from the 60s and 70s and, um, and uh, sort of independent cinema. We made it with a tiny crew of about eight people um, and on a pretty low budget. And um, yeah, it's just amazing to be, to be in the festival. It's, it's really incredible. I think it's really, especially with this film it's, and the way it was shot, I think it's such a good like microcosm of, of exactly those two things. It, mostly, most of our scenes were one or two takes because of the Super 8 and there's something like so raw about that moving forward through the day. Um, and the way I think in the final section of the film, it encompasses both of those, both pain and, and, and pleasure and, and hope. Um, yeah. I think it's it's quite a universal. I mean, what we try to do is, I mean, obviously she works in the film industry, so it's you know I think to some people they kind of might not understand the world, but mm -hmm. um, it the, because the film sort of touches on themes of sort of generational trauma and and how we misremember events from our past and the impact that that has on the way that we live our lives and the relationships that we have, and um, so that's kind of why it's a, this sort of coming of age story. Um, but but I think that's quite universal. You know that, that, that sort of feeling of like how you can mistake um, events or, or, or how memories are imprecise and haphazard and, and scratchy and, um, and you know obviously you know kind of like Super 8 really. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's uh, yeah. Uh, it's I, I hope it's uh, I hope it's a film that people 
people can kind of um, find a bit of themselves in. The, you know, it's a, you know, a, a, re a reflection of, of a life that they might have experienced or, or, um, or help people to understand, you know, people that they love and, you know, yeah. people around them. And, you know, it's, I mean, film just has that ability to, to, uh, to, to, to um, you know, allow us to share in, in other people's worlds. And, um, you know, I think that's one of the beauties of, of, of cinema. And what does it mean to you to have your film here at London Film Festival? And seeing that lineup today, it certainly looks like cinema and British cinema is in a really good place right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we, we expected to be amongst the company that we keep. But seeing that lineup today was absolutely extraordinary. We're incredibly excited. Yeah, it's, I mean, I've been coming to the festival uh, since 2007. Um, you know, every year it's like one of my, it's my holiday to myself, really. And um, it's, I, I've always dreamed of being, um, of, of having a film in, in the London Film Festival. And so it's, it, it's mind blowing. It's, um, it's a really staggering um, thing. And, and to be amongst, you know, there are, there are filmmakers that I know um, who, who, you know, to be able to celebrate with them, but then also to, you know, look at some of the other filmmakers who I've admired and, and looked at um, from from afar, and just being like, wow, like you know, um, it's 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 amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it goes without saying, we stand in complete solidarity with everything that's going on, and hopefully they come to a resolution quickly, and serious respect for everyone on those picket lines over there as well. Um, but. I, I think there's something, yeah, it's, it's really special that we, are, as, as Ben said, there's a crew of eight. It's a tiny machine <laughs> that we had. And to be able to talk about it today is, is really joyful. And so we're really grateful and thankful for that. Yeah, I think, I think it's, um, I mean, there's a lot of very, very brilliant people who uh, are talking very eruditely about, about what's going on over there. Um, uh, and, and I sort of, uh, obviously I'm total solidarity and I, and I have opinions about, about it, and, um, but I, I'm probably not the best person to ask. Um, but I, what I do think is that, um, you know, cinema is, is vitally important and stories are vitally important. And, you know, we've gone through, you go through something like the pandemic and, um, you know, it, it reminds us that we're not alone in the world. And, and, you know, for so many people locked in those houses for, for the length of time that they were, like, you know, their connection was through a television, it's through shared experiences, through shared visual experiences. That's why it's so important. And that's why what's happening in, um, in America um, is, is so crucial and so vital, like right now for, um, for the, 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 the deal reflects um, the, the reality and, and the importance of, uh, of, of the craftspeople behind, um, behind the films and TV shows that get made around the world because, um, you know, where would we be without, without cinema?